from San Francisco, California. This is the Rock and Roll Geek Show. This is the story of my rock and roll butler. <clears throat> Welcome to the Rock and Roll Geek Show. My name is Michael Butler. Thanks a lot for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today is Tuesday, August 6, 2019, and it is 8.20 p.m. when I'm recording this Dog Days of Podcasting episode, the sixth day of the month of August. I'm doing a show a day for the entire month and give you a look quick. I'm going to make it kind of quick today because uh, I am flat out exhausted, as um, Egghead from Batman says. We got up at 4.30 this morning. Today was opening day of lobster season. I'm in the Florida Keys and Marathon Key. And we came down here for my vacation uh, because my friend Deborah comes down here every year and they hunt lobster and she's been inviting us for the past four or five years now. We finally decided to do it this year. And today was opening day of lobster season and uh, we got out on the water about seven o'clock. The limit is six lobsters per person. And I believe yesterday or the day before, one of the previous episodes, I said that if I get three lobsters by myself, I will be extremely happy. Well, I got three lobsters, three keepers. The bad news is I was the only one who got keepers, except at least on our boat. In all fairness, though, Darren, the only other, well, the only expert fisherman, I'm not an expert by any means, but... The only expert fisherman was driving the boat all day, so. And the rest of the boat was women or girls and, or little girls, like high school girls or women or my stepdad, John. And um, I was the only one who got three keepers. We should have gotten seven times. We should have gotten 42 lobsters, <laughs> but we got three. Oh well, what are you going to do? Tomorrow is another day. We were out there from 7 o'clock this morning until about about 6 o'clock p.m. Holy crap, am I tired, man. We were at about 12.30. It, it called for, the weather report called for decent weather and it said there was a 20% chance of rain at 12 o'clock p.m. At 12.30... It stormed out in the ocean where we were, and we just sat there. We got we kind of couldn't see anything, so we just kind of hung out in the ocean and waited for the storm to pass, which took about an hour. And it was wet and freezing, but we made it through alive without dying. I guess if you're alive without it goes, it's just pretty obvious that you, if you're alive, you made it alive, you did it without dying. So I can't even think straight. But we got three decent lobsters. Tomorrow's another day. We're going to be here until we're leaving Saturday morning. So we got uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to keep trying for lobster. And this was my first time doing it. So we got actually got a lot of undersized lobsters. So, if I can spot the lobster, I can catch them. I know that for a fact. The problem is I don't have much experience spotting them. And uh, I was in the water most of the time today. We, a lot of the times we were pulling, being pulled from behind the boat and uh, have to spot the lobster. That's where I'm, I'm not good at. But when, we got, when you're in shallow water, like six feet of water, and, you, and you, there's a big rock or a big piece of coral or something, I can fairly well spot the lobsters. And that, if I can spot them, I can catch them pretty easily. So maybe tomorrow I'll catch more, and maybe tomorrow everybody else will catch more too. Oh, I am flat out beat. I'm going to go to bed. Thank you for listening, friends. I'm actually going to drink another... Uh, Modelo before I go to bed. My beer is downstairs and I'm, oh, I'm quite parched from drinking salt water all day. Actually, I didn't swallow too much, but I, I did swallow a few mouthfuls. And I'm going to go down about three more t 
um, I can't want to say Takatsu, but I want to down about three more Modellos before I go to bed. And I will talk to you tomorrow, friends. Thank you for listening. Rock and Roll Geek is where you can find Rock and Roll Geek.com is where you can find the show. You can email me, rockandrollgeek at gmail.com. You can find me on the Facebook, RNR Geek. Find me on the Twitter, RNR Geek. Find me on the Instagram, Rock and Roll Geek. Don't ask. Please keep the um, suggestions for topics of Dog Days of Podcasting for when I get back from vacation. I'm going to need things to talk about. And I have a couple of show reviews already, and I'll do more. And if you have any other suggestions, please send them to me, rockandrollgeek at gmail.com. Or go to the Facebook group, which I did not create, but I do approve. People just got to answer two questions so that I know you're not a white supremacist, okay? And <clears throat> thank you for donating. Please keep the donations coming because without your donations, this show would die horrible, putrid, stench-filled, falling off the boat in a storm kind of death. All right, I spun the iTunes wheel and came up with a song by American Heartbreak, my old band, from an EP that we put out in like 1997 or something like that called What You Deserve. It was only demos, and this record label, Paris Records, offered to put it out for us, so we said okay. Hence the not great sound quality, but uh, you still get a good feel for the attitude of, of my old band, American Heartbreak. This song is called Richie James. Thank you for listening, friends. I will talk to you tomorrow. It's a rock and roll geek train wreck.